Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video here on checking your battery voltage on a 1S LiPo. So I know everyone's got these uh, battery checkers here, which works great for uh, 2 and 3 cell and 4 cell batteries, etc. You just obviously you plug in the balance lead into there and you get a readout on the voltage for the whole pack and for each individual cell. So, how do you do this for a 1 cell battery? Well, all you gotta do is you have to remember that these battery checkers are checking on each each individual cell on these pins here, and the first cell is going to be these two over here at the top. So, in order to get your voltage from a 1S battery, you just need a servo lead that will have, and you want to have the ground at the top. You plug that in over here. So the uh, uh, the black is ground and the white is going to be the positive. And then I made this uh, pigtail here. It has two different types of connectors. One's a micro low C connector, and the other one is this like um, E flight connector. It's a 1.25 millimeter pitch connector. And it's simple. Just soldered all the reds together and soldered all the blacks together, just like that. So then in focus. And it's very easy to then. Go ahead and plug in your battery, and you get a voltage readout, just like that. So I have these for my uh, Tiny Whoop, the uh, Micro Motor Warehouse uh, 205 mil milliamp hour batteries, and then I have these uh, Hubson batteries that are 500 milliamps I, I fly my other micros with, and I can just plug this into the Micro Low C connector, like so. And I get a readout for that one. So, this is pretty easy to make. Obviously, you're gonna need a server lead here on one, one end. And this this is just a, a cable from a, an ESC. And I just moved the white cable over, which is uh, the signal, over into the middle, which you can just do by uh, uh, picking up these little tabs here and just, just pulling the pin out and then moving over to the middle part because they need to be next to each other. Uh, these micro low C connectors are really cheap and easy to find. You get this uh, uh, 1 to 5 adapter cable that has the, the correct um, connector here. For uh, This is actually used for charging uh, 5 batteries at once, with 5 of these, uh, these batteries. And what I and it's really cheap, it's like a dollar thirty-two for this thing. So I'll put a link in the description for that. But I just uh, grabbed one of these and just cut it off and soldered it onto my connector here. And I also use these for uh, soldering onto the uh, back of the uh, size keyboard for um, power to my flight controller. So that's a really a cheap way of getting these. Uh, I remember uh, trying to find these on eBay or some other places, and uh, if you're just trying to find one of these, they're pretty expensive. Like they're like a dollar um, just for one, so and plus shipping. So uh, if you get these from Bang, it's a dollar thirty-two for all of these, and you get a, a JSD connector and a, the uh, other type of connector here as well. And I've used them all, so I bought a bunch of these, and they've come in very handy. They have uh, nice silicon uh, wires too, so pretty good value for this. For the um, micro JST connector, I got these off of eBay, and I, I think I've talked about this in some other videos. I'll put a link to uh, this in the description as well. You can get like a pack of 40 or something like that for like five bucks. And uh, let's see here. So these come in a big bag like this, and you come, it comes with both the uh, male and the female connectors. And so you get a, it's better to uh, buy in bulk, it's cheaper. If you just try to buy like one um, or two, they're pretty expensive. So I would just look for a pack of 20 or 40 and they're like, it's like $5. Anyway, so if you want to figure out how to uh, check your battery voltage at the end of each flight, make sure that your uh, battery is okay and at storage charge, which most of the times it usually is unless you've really uh, flown too long, uh, then this is a good way to check it and um, keep track of 
which batteries are charged and which ones are in need of charge. So this is why I, I use this quite a bit, I keep it in my transmitter bag. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please leave me a comment below and a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later.